This episode of Android Q&A is sponsored by Netflix. To get a free 30-day trial membership, go to netflix.com forward slash Android and sign up now. Welcome back to Android Q&A. My name is Jace, and this is where we try and answer your most pressing Android questions. Like when your teenage son tries to pwn you in the popular game Wrestling Revolution. Yeah. But if you don't understand how to make your device flash enabled, you can't play that game on your device. And putting that teenager in his place might mean playing it out in real life. Oh boy. First up is that very question regarding Flash. What is the best app to watch Flash content? It's a very common question, Rob, and all you have to do is download this app and have some CM Punk fun. And the next question is, you guessed it, we always have to have more battery questions. Isiris asks, Hi Jace, love your shows. I was wondering if unofficial extended batteries are trustworthy and reliable for my Galaxy S4. And if any of you are having RAM problems, this next question is for you. Faisal asks, why is the RAM on my Android device always near full? Do I have to kill the apps from the task manager? Well, Faisal, Android is a multitasking operating system, which means the apps don't really turn off until you tell them to turn off. So on your Samsung device, you hold down the home button until you get those apps there, and then you can swipe them to close them. This is particularly true with TouchWiz enabled devices because there's so much extra going on in the OS. But for HTC Sense, there's the home and back button. And for Nexus devices, there's a dedicated button for that. But some of you hardcore geeks out there, I can hear you, you're saying, what about task manager apps like Tasker? They're very popular. And yes, but you, know, you need to know there are some downsides to that. They do kill apps in an unnatural way. And some developers do not support or refuse to uh, deal with bugs that come from users who are using task managers because they kill their apps in an unnatural way. They do not allow the user to use the app in the way that the developer originally designed or intended. So for most people, the easiest way is to simply use the recent uh, app manager like I demonstrated earlier. Thanks for watching Android Army. My name is Jason. I wanted to tell you I got lots of help today from my man, the Android Authority app guy, Joe Hindi. You can check out his great content over here as you can with Josh and Kevin the tech ninja but you all wanted to know what your homework was for this week and I wanted you to answer this question from Crytek. Jace I have a question. I've got a Nexus 5 but I realized I can't change the lock screen wallpaper to something else like I could have with my Atrix 4G. Any suggestions on what I should do without rooting my phone or installing a custom lock screen app? I love the stock Google UI. That's your homework for this week, Android Army. The first person to answer Crytek's question conclusively and able to back that up with links if necessary. I will ship one of those to you anywhere in the world that something can be shipped. I will see you next week on Android Q&A. I have to go practice my flying elbows. <laughs>